upper intermediate students book unit one page number eight session test your drama in this section we're going to talk about how the sentences are grammatically different and why different tenses have been used in different sentences. In the next slide, we've been asked to compare the meanings in the pair of sentences and that which sentences are used and why. Look at sentence number one. Allah comes from Saudi Arabia. This is simple present aspect. That means he belongs to Saudi Arabia and it's permanent. He lives in Saudi Arabia or he belongs to Saudi Arabia. In the second sentence, Abdullah is coming from Saudi Arabia. It is continuous aspect. That means he is coming from Saudi Arabia right now. So, or maybe in future he is planning to come. So, he is coming maybe next month. In sentence number two, you're very kind. Thank you. You're very kind. It's permanent that you are always kind. In the next part, you're being kind. You're being very kind. What do you want? So here, being kind is just to be kind at the moment that is right now the person is being kind now because he wants something in sentence number three what were you doing when the accident happened the action happened it was accident and you are being asked that at that particular moment, what were you doing when, when the accident happened? That means, at a particular moment, what were you doing? In the next part, what did you do when the accident happened? It means, after the accident happened, what did you do? Did you call the police? Did you run away? Did you call the ambulance? Or what did you do? In sentence number four, I have lived in Singapore for five years. It means he has completed his five years living in Singapore and still he is living. In the second part, I lived in Singapore for five years. Like me, sometime in the past, he lived in Singapore for five years. He's not living in Singapore anymore. Now he's not living in Singapore. Moving to next slide. Sentence number five. When we arrived... I did the flat. It means he tidied the flat after we arrived. In the second part of sentence number five, when we arrived, he had tidied the flat. It means he had already tidied the flat before we came. 
So he had completed one action that was tidying the room or flat and second action happened after that. So it came after that. Sentence number six. We'll have dinner at eight. Shall we? Shall we is a tag question. So we'll have our dinner at eight. It's a future plan. They will have. And in the second part, don't call at eight. We'll be having dinner. We will be having dinner mean the dinner will be in progress. Continue. It is a continuous aspect in future that dinner will be in progress. So don't call me at that time. In sentence number seven, how much are you paying to have the house painted? It means somebody is going to paint your house and you are paying him some money. But in the second part, how much are you being paid to paint the house? That means it's not you who is paying, but someone else is paying you to paint his house. So it's a passive structure where object is more emphasized. You are being paid. It's not you who is paying. But somebody, someone else is paying you to paint his house. In sentence number eight, first part, how do you do? We say, how do you do when we see somebody for the first time? The implied meaning of how do you do mean nice meeting you. In the second part, how are you doing? It also has same implied meaning in one way, but we say this when we meet somebody that we whom we already know. So we want to know how the things are going on on his side. So how are you doing? How do you do when we are seeing somebody for the first time? And how are you doing? We say when we already know somebody. That is the end of section test your grammar.